Let me tell you, if your father has failed you, it is kind of you, and it is a responsibility to tell, Dad, go and rest. He is the undisputed king of straight talk. I've heard in the introduction, thank God we have, you had an introduction. I'm from that, I'm from that, I'm from that. If this meeting is to be paid by the taxpayers' money, anybody who sent more than a representative should pay for himself or herself. That is fair. Malimu Dida takes no prisoners. Change comes from God. And leaders are chosen for two reasons. One, if the citizens are bad people, wajanja wajanja, God will bring mjanja raised to power six. Mjanja atakuibia hata pant. While attending a meeting convened by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, Dida, who first ran for office and beat more seasoned politicians to the number five slot, spoke his mind once again openly, taking to task the IEBC. Last night I presented my signatures, Mr. Chairman, and all around your office were women who were naked. Naked. I was with my daughter and I was ashamed. She was asking me, what is this? You may be caring of inside your office. But I wish you check around what is happening around your office. His humor field of the calf remarks, however, cannot be ignored. Dida seems to be one of the few candidates who shoots from the hip. His way of looking at situations a complete departure from the norm. His seems to go beyond out-of-the-box thinking. Don't worry because it is God in charge. If everybody hates you, <laughs> If everybody hates you, their hate will not decrease anything for you. And if everybody loves you, their love will not increase anything for you because they are not in charge. It is the Almighty God who does not sleep and does not slumber. Don't worry. On this day, he was incensed by the complacency of the IEBC and how independent candidates are treated. In his mind, the IEBC does not regard them as equals, especially compared to the more established political outfits. This, however, will not be the first time Mohammed Abduba Dida, a former English teacher who quit the profession to pursue business, wows the audience with his statements that many deem very in touch with reality. If you want to be healthy, eat when you're hungry. This timetable, I don't know who brought it, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then the dinner you come up with, phase one where you take soup and mushroom, and then phase two, phase three. That what, is, what will that you is do? What if you want to be saved you, from yes. corrupt leaders, mm -hmm. if you want to be saved from, from corrupt leaders, you adapt preventive medicine. Principle number one, eat when you feel the pangs of hunger. Number two, when you feel the pangs of hunger, don't fill your belly with food. You eat every gadheri and then there is no space for water. You need to give a third water, a third food, and then a third breathing space. Like him or hate him, Dida's views have a way of capturing the imagination and hearts of many. This year, if he meets the requirements, he will be on the ballot too. Ken Mijungu, NTV. Century. Imagine, after so many years of, of leadership,